Okay, this is a video review of my new soldering rework station I ordered from AliExpress. It's the 853D. Um, it's a really sweet machine. Uh, it has a lot of features, and I'll show you those different features that it has. So first of all, I want to show you here we've got uh, the voltage supply. It's got a built-in power supply. Right now it's set up for 3.2 volts, um, but the power is supplied... Um, here, well, let me show you. We've got uh, everything up from 15.6 down to zero volts. So a lot of flexibility there. This one supplies voltage on that side. And then this switch switches to, uh, uh, so you see it here. Now we're going to switch it over. And this is still supplying voltage here. But if you move it over here, now um, you can actually test and you can like a, and this display where it's showing zero you could test and measure voltage so it has a built-in voltmeter and it uh, has this amp meter as well and this amp meter shows that it um, can go up to two amps right underneath here but um, the actual gauge on the meter only shows up to one amp so I'm not sure what that's all about the discrepancy there but I know that it can go up to one amp um, and I uh, tested that and so you can get a reading of voltage and amperage from plugging this socket here. The one problem I did have, the only problem I had, is that the test leads that came with it are different than these ones here that I'm using and they did not plug in, the ones that came with it did not plug in to those deep sockets and so I just had these test leads from my meter, switched them out with the ones that it came with and it works fine. Um, the test leads that came with had a little shroud and so they wouldn't go in all the way um, but they worked fine on my meter and so I just switched those, no, no big deal. So let's go ahead and uh, let me show you the soldering uh, portion of this for the soldering iron and so initially it shows 300 uh, degrees Celsius and you can see how fast this heats up uh, and so it shows the initial setting and then it gradually heats up and it heats up pretty quick actually. So now we're at full temperature and this this setting can be adjusted with those little buttons on the side digitally and uh, you can dial up whatever temperature you'd like and uh, it you see it's already hot and so um, you can uh, go up to 450 I believe and it will remember the settings too so that's kinda nice so whatever you set it for it remembers it and then we also have here this nifty uh, rework heat hot air so I adjusted that one and factory it said uh, 300 so I adjusted it down to 250 already and right now see it's blanked out because it's off because there's a magnetic uh, switch as near as I can figure and as long as that's in the rest and see as soon as I take it out it shows the setting and now it's heating up it's turned on and it's uh, heating up right now and uh, it, now it's already up to temperature it's already up to 250 you can increase the air or decrease or decrease the air um, right here with that not dial and then increases and decreases the fan inside the control here or rather the the gun uh, can get that hot so now I'll put that back in there and you can see it's going through a cool down cycle the fans still going and it's still blowing and cooling down and uh, we can speed up the fan here and uh, you can totally adjust the fan speed and it uh, blows until it cools off and then it'll shut off and it'll just sit there with the, li the lines blanked out again um, anyway so it comes with uh, these tips here so there's four different uh, nozzles or jets whatever you want to call them that can attach to the front of the hot air uh, gun there so you can control or narrow down the flow of the air coming through it also comes with about a dozen different soldering iron tips that uh, have different shapes and different styles of those um, come with it and uh, plenty of those so yeah really awesome tool it also came with uh, a little piece of three feet or something of desoldering wick so it's kind of whatever but yeah see that's already cooled off so it cools it quick and then here's the manual I uh, haven't even read the manual yet but uh, it was really intuitive and straightforward it also came with this little tool uh, it's like a little pick for picking up uh, parts that are 
uh, when you're desoldering the SMD parts. So, yeah, uh, overall, I'm really impressed, really happy with it, and I feel like it was a really good buy, and, and uh, I like it.